Hello everyone, I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part 63 of my Koninian Restoration Campaign here in Crusader Kings 2. So, uh, I forgot, uh, I completely forgot to do this to talk about where in the, uh, the dynasty Michael the Ninth, the Fat, what a horrible name, um, where does he, he lie in, in, you know, the, the, the greater family tree? So... If you see, if you look here, I was the son of Rex Gregoris the Usurper. This one was the. No, I wish there was a way. I for, is there a way? No, yeah, I have to either go really big or nothing. Uh, but he was a uh, he was the regnum of uh, Trebizond. Uh, he had usurped the title. My grandfather Gregoris the Pious. Yeah, I should do this differently. He had been. Uh, he had held the Duchy of Mutinia, which is. Uh, Right up here, so you know, the, you know, the, the family's all over the place. His father was Greenhagen, not doesn't matter. Uh, his father was Constantus, and his father was, I think, this might have been not the original Greenhagen, but it was one of the early Greenhagens. So Governor Greenhagen here of uh, of Antioch, and also the Duchy of Mutinia. So this family has a lot of roots here in uh, kind of these Carpathian, south of the Carpathian Mountains, uh, uh, north of the Danube area here. His um. His brother was Blessed Ben Ironside of the, the Byzantine Empire, who died way back in 1166. And Greenhagen's mother, so, so let's hold on, let's make sure we're keeping track here, because I'm, I'm not going to have to go here anymore. So my great, great, great grandfather, Greenhagen, was brother to Blessed Ben Ironside and, and son of... Alexem the theologian. So to trace back to Alexios originally, he is my great 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 grandfather. Uh, no, no, excuse me, one more great great grandfather. So let's count that again. Great great great. Wait, <laughs> I'm like giggling now. Great 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 grandfather. So my five times great grandfather. Uh, by the way, I, I wasn't actively keeping track, but by my count, uh, but towards the end there, but by my count, I believe that um, that uh, Augustus David died with um, how much was it? With with uh, sixty four thousand or so prestige and piety combined, pretty damn good. Um. Did we ever, and actually, what is my connection to him? I, I, I never, I don't think I actually established that. Let's check real quick in the, uh, in the family tree. Whoops. Oh. There, yeah, so he was, uh, I'm not sure where in the family he was. Let me try to figure that out. He might have been a really, really distant relative. Shoot. Oh, no, here we go. Okay, so this was him. That's my kinsman. So that was via, okay, because I'm over here. So this is going way back, because he was descended from Auk the Saint. Uh, so our common ancestor actually is Alex M. the Theologian. Uh, so that's kind of funny because it, um, <laughs> it makes me think of the War of the Roses where everybody was... Uh, uh, basically trying to claim lineage uh, going back to Edward the Edward the third um, and that was like this that's the commonality and in actuality we were let's see one two three four five okay, so, so this would be first cousins so we're second third fourth fifth uh, okay, so that's fifth. We were we were third cousins twice removed. That was the relationship from King David to me. I was his third cousin twice removed. I think I've gone over it before, how cousins and the remove thing works. I'm not going to do it again. Everybody should know this by now. It's easy to look up on the internet. Hope I'm, watch, I'm horribly wrong about that a bit at all, but... The Empire Endures. Uh, so we were going to deal with these uh, these personal domains of mine, uh, and I probably was just going to give the whole duchy over to somebody. Uh, Rome is down to uh, just two counties, which is uh, hilarious. Um, 
So if we come over here, does the, this duchy probably already belongs to somebody? No, no, this is the one that we have to create. Uh, now, our monthly balance is very, very, very low. Give it a couple of days, it might get better, but I don't think it's going to. I've lost a lot of uh, stuff. Let's come back over here to the military. Uh, we don't want to lose all them up here. So we're gonna... Oh, I can't disband that just yet. Why can't I disband this? Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, so they're all gone, they're all gone. Now we just got these 14,000 here. Yeah, stay where you're at. Nope, these are all retinue. All of those were retinue troops. So are they. Uh, so then, have we sent everybody home? Pretty much? We have like a couple thousand here or there that are not home. Just disband those, make it easy. Wait, did that work? No. Now it worked. Okay. So I think I saw some other retinues up here. Or no, those must have been levies. Um. So. Okay. Okay. We're gonna come on down here and get ready for some more holy wars. Wait, what? Yeah, here we go against Sultan Muhammad. Uh, so once we are out, uh, once we're no longer bankrupt, he wants a lower rank vassal to serve him rather than me directly. Um, yeah, that's fine. So in the meantime, we have got to uh, create some, once again, make more vassals, make the whole situation worse. You know, more vassals so we can have more courts and stuff. Keep stacking them up. Um, what else do I personally hold still? Looks like I still have a lot of cities that are in my personal domains. Get rid of all those. One more still. Uh, let's go to where? Down here. There and... There. Okay, very nice. Uh, next up, we're gonna yeah, let's uh, let's keep coming on down south here. Oh boy, yeah, these factions are totally out of control. Honored a hated ruler. Okay, so the people who hated my ancestor really, really hate me now. Um, yeah, because they hate it. One of my aunts, he's not my ancestor at all. Uh, he's my, he was my third cousin, twice removed. Hmm. He claim it's up here. Oh, I'm just going to forget to bring him in anyway. Why do I bother? Okay. So we got to do uh, another holy war against the Hanid quickly. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and declare that now. Um, yeah. Oh, right, but I can't because I'm bankrupt. Why don't I have the option to get help managing my titles? Over my vassal limit. Oh, what's going on? Am I not hitting the thing? Yeah, I, I can't seem to do that. I can't get any help. All right, let's look at the direct vassals here. Yeah, I got... Okay, there's Cappadocia down here. I don't need this. Any fortresses? Yeah, fortress... Wh whoever you are, congratulations. Look what you've got. All right, anything else that's mine personally? No, that's Greece. Uh, that's Greece. This is Cappadocia. That's Greece. All right, so there's not a lot... It just belongs to me. Uh, what is this called? Samara. Okay. Um, that's not the Roman Empire, I don't think. Hmm. 
But yeah, I sit and I still have these two areas up here. So we want to give this to... Okay, we've got a fortress. I think this guy, we're just going to give him both. Did I accidentally free him? No, no, no. Okay, we're good. And Kona, no. Yeah, I have I have a county up here for some reason. Uh, okay, we've got a fortress there. Give that to yeah, give that away as well. Um, what a mess! What a total mess! It's like Tunis up here and stuff. How you tore your dress? What a mess! The factions are getting angrier. You know, if these guys want Caesar for the Roman Empire, I'll probably just do it. <laughs> probably just abdicate. Uh, but not before I declare some wars here. This is an extremely powerful vassal we have on our hands here. So what we have to do is we have to transfer him vassal so he gets even stronger. That's, that's really key uh, to the whole operation. Natolia desires the regnum of Trebizond. I think I can do that. Yeah, that's fine with me. Nope, uh, she's still really mad at me. Okay, moving on down the line then. What's your problem, Miss Bulgaria? Revoked. It's all these Viceroy ships are actually not really helping me with her. Here, I'm just gonna transfer her vassals until... until I can't anymore. Yeah, it's actually working again. Wow. Okay, maybe not that much. I'm just going to keep doing it forever, but a couple more. What's what's the worst that can happen? Internal border gore again? All right, coming back over here to the factions. Uh, we got some people who are wanting elective succession in Francona. I can't imagine anything that uh, I would care less about. It's messy, but it's working. Transferring this stuff. Whoops. Right now we just we just gotta not fall apart while we form the empire. Once the empire will we form the empire? I reformed it. I mean, uh, we just need. To, what I meant to say is that all we have to do is keep things together long enough to. Um, get the borders back, and then I might just play this out. I'll probably play it to 1453, maybe not. Uh, it's not as if I'm going to get an achievement, because I did do the 1081 start, not the 1066 start, so there's no achievement for that. You have to start in either 1066 or the Charlemagne or Old God start in order to get an achievement. Uh, so I might just do things like try to take out rum. Um... Uh, yeah, that's probably it. I'd probably just try to destroy Rum. The, pap the papacy's already gone. I've reformed the schism. I, don't, I can't really think of anything else. Oh, yeah, we might try to get Mecca and Medina, but that's only if I've restored the borders already. But once Rum is gone and I hold Mecca and Medina, there's not really anything else to do. It would just be completely arbitrary things like, oh, extend to the Caspian Sea. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway. We're going to keep transferring, I think. Uh, we cannot create this duchy yet, though. Set our county focus. Did it just say secretly convert to Catholic? Did I read that right? Oh, it's because the Pope is somewhere in here. That's what it is. Yeah, it's he's he's hanging out somewhere. I think he's like just never around. He never will be around. Um but like he's technically like if i searched for him he's in rome big orthodoxy big 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 now then uh okay so the instant we are out of debt what's this guy's problem oh a sunni muslim is upset with me a sunni a sunni um yeah sunni so-called roman is upset with me about something and i'm supposed to do what now all right, we're going directly into this war. Uh, okay, we could do a du jour claim on Kirkuk. 
but I think instead we're just going to do the Holy War for Basra. Gives me three really important counties that are needed. Oh, okay, so we've got that. We're actually already sort of winning against them. And who else, who else, who else? Um, yeah, there's some stuff going on here that's separate. Yeah, it's just... They're, they're basically the only ones here in the east. I could do something like say, oh, I'm going to go after... Oh, right, I should actually go after Azerbaijan. Holy War. Holy War them. Is this something separate? Like, they have a suzerain? No, but we're going to... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we're going to first come over here. And we've got the truce with Rum, right? Because there's no way he died in just a couple of days. Uh, extremely unlikely. Okay, we need a revolt in the east. That would be that that I really would like that. That would kind of be ideal. Uh, revolts anywhere. Gosh, this is such a mess. Do I need to kill this guy. I think I have to. Um, oh wait, we're already plotting to kill him, right? Yeah. We gotta kill him, I don't know how, but we've gotta get the kingdom back. I can't believe I lost Latium and all that other stuff. Yep, a zealot. A zealot's fine. Unless you're going for really specific goals, being a zealot's almost always a, the right answer, I think. It's just got so many great bonuses that come from it. So this guy has declared war on Subic Bayezigglu Ghaznavid, which is just where? This tiny little area here in western India. What's the religion like out here? Still a lot of Hindus, but the Jains are almost gone. The Buddhists are almost eradicated. There's just so many Sunnis running around. How is their, uh, okay, but their moral authority is plummeting. They're down to 44.4%. Uh, and I did look it up. There is increased chances of, um, uh, heresies showing up. And sure enough, we have the Zikri heresy that has arrived here, uh, in Spain. So, um, <clears throat> me winning all these holy wars is doing a little tiny bit to destabilize the, uh, the, the, the Muslim nations, but not as much as I would like right now. I want full-blown revolts at all times. Do I need Tabriz? Check my map. Where's my map? Find the map, find the map. Why can't I find the map? Yeah, here we go. Um, so Tabriz is this and this, so we don't need that. Again, just to review for people, let me... uh. Pull this up. This is what we're trying to get here. So the whole northern border is secure, has been secure. Uh, I think that we oh, we just need to get these couple of uh, counties here. To get Azerbaijan, we're going after Basra. Then we have a few individual counties here. There's the little chunk north of this desert. Uh, and then after that, it's still about two-thirds of Spain and western North Africa to go. But I think we can definitely do this before we hit 1453. Oh, just think about how much easier this entire campaign would have been if I had uh, managed to inherit the Holy Roman Empire, though, with an heir. But it was fun doing the invasion. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something over here in the other monitor. Give me a second. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, so, really do wonder if we're going to be down to double-digit viewers by now. Because <laughs> you just, let's see here. Uh, okay, okay. What's going on with the factions? Some of these people are still just absolutely livid with me. Wait, no, this guy's a heretic, shit. That's why he's in a faction against me. He's not a true Roman. It's going to be fun to one day do this again, though, with uh, Hellenism. 
Um, pa -pa -pa -pa. Okay, transfer more vassals. Set. Okay, we're, we're kind of set now. Oops. What just happened? What just happened? There we go. So some descent. Whoop. Way out here, and you lower the retinue cost, please. Great. Uh, they want me to pick the theology focus. Oh, yeah, it's better than carousing. Sure. There we go. Yes, yes, their Bible, etc. We have the Zikari heresy that has uh, arrived. This is a Sunni heresy. So the heresies are spawning. Um, they're supposed to be spawning outside my empire, though. <laughs> Praise be to God. I have uh, become humble. Great. That's fantastic. Yeah, because I'm humble, I also get additional growth uh, for my monthly gain. This guy's my heir right now. That's who I wanted, right? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got some problems here. Oh, this is the guy I'm trying to kill anyway. Uh, we're having trouble doing it, though. Here, let's send an alcohol gift. This guy... Why is it always the Irish that end up as spy masters? The eternal Irish. And we're going to have a private conversation. Let's see, hope my meaning is clear. I don't know if that's working. He declined the invitation. Okay, cool. At least, yeah, this is back. Great. Let's take a look at these electors. Who's uh, who's a little bit on the fence? Just need some honorary titles to sway you. We got a Muslim, he's never gonna he's never gonna vote for my candidate. Okay, but we might be able to sway some of these other people. Here's another one that's kind of on the borderline. Also, I'm still having those vassals race too long negative penalties. They're not very strong, but they are there. So, just need a little bit of help. Okay, come down here and defeat them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> what was that? It's been a Bulgarian holy war uh, right now uh, for Valencia. Well, I am completely in favor of that. That's going to be pretty nice. I think that's three counties. So, uh, good luck to her. Okay, stand down. Check something. These are armies. Yeah, you, you, got, you guys can come east. Uh-oh, looks like they got reinforced. But even with the mountains, it's not enough. Not nearly enough. Wow, what a spanking. Alright. What's still going on over here? We still have people really angry. Proconsula of Georgia. <sighs> can't, I can't transfer any more vassals anywhere. It's just such a big ass area. Um, and and why why is everybody not in favor of medium centralization? Really got to get that. I think we'll go to four speed. Oh, we can create this duchy. Great. Done there. Uh. Okay. It's getting worse, this, but I think it's ticking war score. No, no, it's because we've lost Palmyra. 
Just want to fight these with retinues. Let the vassals take a break. Oh, the, the heresy, the orthodox heresies are popping up now. That's just what I needed. Lotharinga. Can't transfer anymore. Can't do it, man. I'm out. I am out. Hmm. That's done. That's done. That's done. Uh, I think this is the only county they even hold, so if I uh, finish besieging all three of them, I should automatically win. Got some Tabre Tabrez here has joined in in the war. Maybe I should have attacked them too, just just for the hell of it. Maybe I should just be blobbing. It's all more vassals and right. No, vassals are bad, if anything. Proconsulate of Carinthia is no longer considered a de jure part of the Holy Roman Empire. Shouldn't there be another couple of areas that uh, also drifted? Or am I thinking of something else? Yeah. I can't wait to see Italy drift. That's gonna feel so good! That might be something worth continuing to play for. To just wait for that to happen. Alright, let's find a nice Roman person out here to give. Wow, these Norwegians, they've really settled in. Uh, let, let's check their culture. Has this changed at all? No, they're, they're Greeks, but we've had these Norwegians here forever, basically. <laughs> House of Af Orknejar. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, we have a mutual grandfather. So this, these Norwegians here, I'm related to them quite closely. Hmm, had the gout. Grandpa had the gout. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. <sighs> Got a Thracian revolt going on. Um, I've really got to kill this motherfucker. Do a private conversation. Can we excommunicate him? No. They never have the same religious head. Just fuck off, please. We need to... I don't know what to do to him. I just don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Well, this is going well. Uh, all right, yeah, we're, we're done here. War for Azerbaijan is over. But we still need actual Azerbaijan, or we'll be finished with that section. Uh, we have a couple more regnums that we have inherited. Uh, you know, I'm going to do something risky here. I'm actually going to grant this to him as well. Yeah, okay, cool. That puts him in the positives with me. Uh, he has a son who, again, I'm going, no, 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 that's dumb. That's really, really dumb. We don't need to be doing that. Okay, so we don't have any overwhelmingly powerful factions, but these, there definitely still are factions. They're still out there. They're still pissed. Okay, we're down to 46 vassals. It's getting better. of Samada, Regnum of Hibernia. That might be the final thing I just gotta give to somebody else. Roman. Can we maybe get him to convert now? No, yeah, we're at peace, but he, he really likes me, so I might be able to get him to change. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Big maybe. Huge maybe. Okay, a lot of fighting, a lot of assembling of uh, Muslim armies. There's armies. There's a Luxembourgian uh, peasant revolt happening. Uh, got plenty of vassals around though that could deal with that instead. I'm not interested in it. How about that, huh? Look at where the capital of Hibernia is, right there in Middlesex. Suck it, Westminster. 
And the Irish fans go wild. Okay, coming over here. Everybody, everybody's equal under Rome, though. That's how it works. Okay, we got uh, some hosts. These are just hosts. It's actually not a big deal. The uh, the Alania army is coming south. We have a really good natural defense against them here with the with the mountains. What's this? My daughter. She's Roman. Good. Happy to see that. Um. Okay, she's Roman too. So sounds good to me. All right, we gotta watch out. For this Azerbaijan, these Azerbaijani troops, but if they try to attack here, they're going to be attacking into mountains, so we're definitely going to win this um, once we take these next two holdings. But we just got to sit here and wait. The rise of the Hansa. Oh. Several German merchant guilds and trade cities along the shores of northern Europe have come together in Hadelin to form the Hanseatic League with the blessings of... Kaiser Gotzello of the Holy Roman Empire, the Loose Federation of Free Imperial Cities, is dedicated towards the continued prosperity of its members and the mutual defense of any merchant vessels flying its flag. The eventual and unstated goal, of course, is to one day completely dominate all trade along the Baltic and Northern Seas. That's bound to ruffle some feathers. You know, we might be able to take these guys. We're gonna try. We're gonna charge into the mountains. It's probably really dumb. Probably totally unnecessary. It's definitely unnecessary. But I think we can still beat them. Oh, I should have put more commanders in charge. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yep. Oh, no, that's there, right, that's crumbling. Okay, so we have a new, um, new open China. He's interested in Hindus, but does not like Latin Iberian cultures, so that would be me again. Which is pretty annoying. Oh, we can send a concubine. My daughter? I don't think so, though. I do want to ask for some kind of boon. Maybe an artifact? Artifact could be fun. Sure. Let's get an artifact. Let's see what we got. We received the History of Cheng. Ooh, books are fun. A book detailing the lives of the emperors of one of the great dynasties of China. Not a very exciting read, but it does inspire thoughts of having a dynasty as grand as theirs. So that gives me more prestige and more fertility. I need a certain amount of learning, though, to be able to even read it. Going, duh, what are these squiggles? Mmm, I don't like them. Alright, viewing electors. I don't think, do I not even get a say in this? Shit. We have some righteous imprisonments we can do. Wait, hold on a sec. Go to the beginning, go to the beginning. Come. That's right, my uh, distant relative, but she still has the blood of Alexandria in her. I forgot about that. I went around her again. Okay, I'll just look her up. Rami. Is she still of childbearing age? No. Oh, okay, wait, no, no, no. Load filters, slot zero. There we go. Okay, so, can we force a divorce? I don't think so. Let's, you know what, let's try to plot to kill him. Okay, wait. Ask to leave court. She's gonna go with him. Uh, I don't know, she'd go with Joins. Miss Marinus of Zarago. Hmm. <sighs> Can't change my focus for several years. Can't seduce her. We're gonna... God, we're gonna... Quickly plot to kill him. Instead. Does he have enemies? Oh, wow. Or maybe it's I just have lots of friends, but cool. He's definitely fucking dead. Uh, yeah, we lost here. That was really dumb of me to do that. It's fine. We're just gonna... Uh, oh wow, was that battle really the reason why? Battle of Gazpan. It wouldn't have quite gotten me there, but it would have gotten me pretty close. Uh, surely these forces, though, can defeat them. Let's come on. This way. Oh, we just lost a couple of sieges in a row. So they, yeah, they just took all this. So, but I think if we just defeat the 
defeat them, we'll be okay. Come on. Oh, my plot has been revealed. Success, he has uh, died in the explosion. Great, so now um, we want to matrilineally marry her to somebody. It doesn't matter who, just just, just somebody. Um, okay, maybe not my Ecclesias thing, whatever the hell his name is. So this guy's possessed, which is really unfortunate. Um, but he'll do the matrilineal marriage. Or, you know what? No, 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 no. Better yet, better yet, better yet. Let me find a claimant. Let me find a claimant for something. Like the Holy Roman Empire, perhaps? Because uh, there's some that exist, yeah? Okay, he's not married. He's been baptized. Theologian, charitable, temperate, humble, cynical, lustful. Lustful is what I want to see. Yes! Uh, okay, come into my court, and I got just the person for you. The person just died too, great. Come on, come on, get in my court, get in my court, get in my court. <gasps> I'm about to die. Okay, I have a proper heir at least. Hold on, before I die, enforce the demands. Okay. Yeah, we're hearing the hissing sound. You immediately roll out of bed before the vile servant has a chance to strike. The beast recoils and disappears beneath the covers. You run out to fetch the guard. Who brought that snake here? <gasps> I've never avoided that. I didn't even think it was possible. Wow. Okay, so coming on south, uh, we gotta we gotta get you guys down here to Basra. The Almoravids and I are gonna start getting really familiar with being at war with one another. Look at all of these duchy sizes things we have to do. It's gonna take a while. The Hananids as well. I'm gonna have to be going yet. Yeah, just the Hananid, the Yafarid, and the Amoravid. I've got to start revolting. I'm not saying I'm not on pace, but I don't want it to be so tight. Especially because, for all I know, I'm going to have to start going around and grabbing individual holdings. Because I think, still think it was only the province of Illyricum that has been the only one that it has actually said I formally reclaimed. Alright. So I got that duchy. Any others that I have? I have Samurai uh, here. Let's give this to him. Okay. Uh, now, is this guy going to show up in my court or what? Okay, he's joining the court. Fantastic. So, now we arrange the marriage, matrilineal, you don't have a choice, to her... Uh, okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so that's done. Now you get to have a little bit of land. We'll give him one of these Azerbaijani counties. Yeah, county of Azerbaijan, that's it. And uh, you get to be... He created a republic. Ah, Jesus Christ, really? Why? Is there even a city in here? Oh, there's a mosque, though. You see, this is the shit that I'm talking about. These little mosques I'm going to have to take out. Hmm. We have no local levies. Let's see, just bring these over here. Yeah, just just having to take back those individual mosques. It's so annoying, and and it's like I don't say it's perfect. There's no purpose to it, but it's just back. <laughs> Feels like it's wasting a lot of my time. Like I'm gonna have to go through every single friggin' one of these areas. Okay. Chinese revolt happening. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. What is this all about? It's led by a Bedouin priest hater. A Sunni Muslim priest hater. So he is a Chinese Revolt League Independence War. And of course, the Holy Roman Empire is not part of that. And that's the part that I need. But if anything is going to weaken the Western uh, Protectorate, I'm happy about it because I am going to get these counties at some point. Um, all right. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.